Hiya fishy folks and happy Sunday fun day to you. Today a video from the Keystone Clash. Uh, yesterday was Saturday in the vendor room and I did very very well. I sold uh, a whole tank full of guppies to one guy and sold a whole tank full of plecos to another guy. So I'm pretty happy. I did quite well. I, I made certainly enough money to pay my expenses and put some money in the account so that's nice. But um, Today we're going to go over the kids contest as well as the fish show which was over yesterday and some people have already taken their fish and they're breaking it down this morning it's about eight o'clock in the morning and uh, on Sunday so you'll see kind of what it's about and hopefully you'll enjoy don't forget to hit the subscribe button and uh, smash it smash the subscribe button gently caress the notification bell check out michaelsfishroom.com and stand by. All right, fishy folks, we're here at the Keystone Clash, and the kids can enter and decorate their own fish tanks. And if they win, actually, they get to take the tank home. I don't know if there's a prize for winning. So, thank Liz. Uh, dude, thank Liz, the queen of cichlids, for organizing this, getting donations from Seagrass Farms and Reef to Rift and other people to donate. Look at all the stuff they get to do. I got all these things to choose and there's my little guy who's too small to help so he has a buddy helping him out. See all the kids. All right, we're gonna watch as they decorate. I'm gonna keep an eye on this little guy. All right, we're here with Mr. Lucas designing his tank. Say hi, Lucas. He's concentrating very strongly designing his tank. Do you need help? I have to go cut a tag, hold on. All right, we're here working with Lucas, setting up his tank feverishly, trying to make sure it's beautiful. Lucas, what's your strategy for this competition? A man of few words. He's concentrating, focused, on winning the fabulous prizes. I don't even know if there is a prize. Hey Liz, what do you get for first place? Oh, just like Oprah! Thank you to our amazing sponsors, Amazon Tanks, Rick the Rift Aquarium Store, Seagrass Farms, and that fish place, that pet place in Lancaster. You guys are awesome! Thank you for donating, people. Are you having fun, Lucas? Uh oh, looks like he dropped something. You want more gravel? Okay, should I help you open it? Alright, I gotta open gravel, people. Stand by. How about before all the kids leave, if we get you all the kids to build a tank, gather together right here in the middle so we can get a picture of you guys, alright? All the kids to build a tank. We're gonna get a big picture. Not me, because it's going on YouTube, and I don't know if people want their kids on YouTube, so. I think this kid wants his picture taken. Say hi. Maybe not. Lucas has added a few more plants to his tank. I think he has about three or four hundred plants now, because he knows plants are good for fish. Look at this young man's tank. Nice colors, a good variety. What's the theme of your tank? All right, guys, good luck. All right, fishy folks, this is the showroom from the fish show. Uh, 
It is Sunday morning, so the fish show was yesterday afternoon. The awards were last night. I may or may not have placed first and second in guppies. We'll have to see later. But I just want to show you what it's all about. <clears throat> so this is the Malawi cichlid section, as you can see. And there's quite a few fish. This whole section is in Malawi, but it's kind of what it looks like. So let's take a look at some of these fish. I wish I knew what uh, what fish won and what was best of show and all that stuff, but I don't, I don't remember. It was last night and I didn't write anything down. And so they're, they're breaking down. Um, there's a care species. Uh, they're breaking down all the, the killie tanks because they all were melons, so they're bagging them for the auction today. And you can either leave these fish for the auction. There's another care species. Um, that is a gorgeous fish. Uh, or you can take them home. I'm taking my guppies home. You'll see what I entered in it when I get there. They're busy working in that section. <clears throat> So I'm trying to give them enough space to do what they need to do and not be in their way. Let's take a look on this side. Uh, I don't know what those little fish are there for, but Sorry about that. that's okay. Seagrass donations. They're a big sponsor of many, many fish clubs, including ours. Uh, anyway, there's another care species. So I'm going to be taking my fish uh, because I don't want to put them in the auction. Some auctions you definitely have uh, a good chance to make money, but I'd rather just sell my fish on the website or direct to you. Here's a first place winner. All these cichlids, these are Central American cichlids of course now. There's another Karis tank. Most people take these kind of fishes home. There's a first place winner right there, a second place winner. Not everyone puts their medals on their tanks, but some people do for sure. Now we're into South American cichlids, over six inches. That one's for sale. You can call that number if you're interested. I attempt to pronounce the name, but I just screw it up, so. <clears throat> I don't know why this tank is so cloudy. One of my guppies' tanks is also cloudy. I don't know what happened overnight. And uh, there were some arts and crafts and pictures for our classes. That's a uh, cichlid made out of wheel weights. And uh, that's a pillow and a I guess a koi made out of paper or something. <clears throat> Tanganyikans. And here's all the Achilles. All these were, or most of these were um, melons. And so there's some care species right there. Look at that. Alright, let's get out of the killie guy's way. <clears throat> blue lip something maybe? Uh, yeah, blue lip. Look at that. You know why it gets blue lips, right? It's part of their diet. They eat lots of blueberries. No, I, I don't know why. I just, just made that up. Some more... Uh, some more peacocks. And at these shows, you see a lot of people you know and a lot of friends. There's our friend Callie. Say hi, Callie. And another friend. Hello. <laughs> All right, guys. So <clears throat> here's a live bear section. There's a really nice swordtail and some nice mollies. But look at this. Look how ginormous that swordtail is. And this swordtail with just a few thousand babies in it. 
went there yesterday. At first I thought it was a goldfish in a goldfish jar when I saw it because it was so big. But here's an albino koi guppy that was in the show. And another male tiger something maybe. And the same strain. <clears throat> Maybe a albino something, but let's look at second place winner from Michael's Fish Room. The Red Mosaic Dragon Red. Platinum Red Dragon Mosaic, which I sold out of yesterday. And then, I don't know what happened in this tank, but this is the rainbow, which you can't see, that's terrible. It's the rainbow. Dumbo Mosaic. I forgot the name. You know how I am with names. <clears throat> anyway, that one first place in guppies. And that one second place in guppies. Alright, we're gonna get out of everyone's way because they're working. You can see they're cleaning up here. Lots of tanks draining everything. Let's get out of their way. Just a small pleco over here. Panak. And a couple other Plecos, L24s. Yeah. Some discus. Water is a little cloudy, which kind of is troubling for me. I don't know why. Some shrimp. <clears throat> Goldfish. Look at this. That's pretty nice. I think this Veiltail won People's Choice, maybe? I'd have to check. I wasn't paying attention. I paid attention to guppies. I know. That's terrible, but it's honest. Alright, fishy folks. <clears throat> That's it for the show. Let's go take a look in the vendor room. Stand by. Alright, fishy folks. Here's the vendor room. It's quiet. It's about 8.30 Sunday morning. Uh, I imagine as the auction gets closer to starting today. We'll pick up a little bit of business, and then when the auction starts at 11.30, by 12 o'clock, it'll be a ghost town in here, which is fine. I'll pack up and leave. All right, so let's take a look what we have. <clears throat> Our friends Lisa and Martin at Super Cichlids are here, of course, with the biggest, nicest display. Take a look. Big cobalt banner. Lots of cobalt products. As you know, I like the cobalt guppy pellet <clears throat> this one I really like it <clears throat> I may be trying some of the other cobalt foods maybe for my Oscars and for uh, chewy <clears throat> um, not really sure I like the ocean nutrition flakes so there's really no reason to switch but of course cobalt makes heaters and they have the cool air pumps now that run off USB power and different color airline and <coughs> other stuff. Here at the show, a lot of these plushies do well. And of course, the only company nationwide to sell the full line of Northfin products. And they sell the most Northfin products in the country, I believe. They did sell out of a bunch of stuff yesterday. I was helping them when I could, especially if someone was over at my booth looking at Plecos. I was pushing the, the kelp wafers, which you know I love. So I'm gonna be getting some krill, uh, which I'm gonna put in the grinder, and some fry starter. So fry starter is 100% krill. The krill is, I think, krill pro is only about 85% krill. So I'm get, gonna be getting both though. Of course they sell some some filters and stuff here for you but all right let's move over here oh we're Pashi. and uh they sell omega-1 and 
<clears throat> New Life Spectrum has a new line with probiotics I heard them talking about. Here's a new line of theirs. I have some information on it. I think I'm going to be doing a test of the strips for them. We'll see. All right, Michael's Fisher in booth. You can see a shirt. I'm selling shirts. It's my camera gear. There's my helper saying hi. Hi, Lucas. Is a good helper. Likes to catch fish. We have some bettas left. Didn't sell as many as I want. There was a booth selling low quality bettas for $5. So when these are 30, kind of kind of makes it hard to sell, although some people did see them and saw the quality and did buy them. All right, let's look at some of the fish I bought. <clears throat> I have the red cobras, which are ginormous, and uh, the calico plecos. And this tank had the platinum red dragon mosaics sold out, and also the lemon blue eyes. This tank has some black Moscow's and red super red plecos and then this has the um, rainbow dragon mosaic dumbo ears and also all my bristlenose plecos which they're all sold actually I gotta start bagging them but they're all sold today <clears throat> of course the sign got some snacks back there there's Lucas playing on my tablet <laughs> All right, over here were the donations, which uh, of course we all, not to donate, yeah, the donations and the raffle, which we uh, gave away yesterday, of course. This table was Mike Cichlids from Florida, real nice uh, couple. It's a uh, cichlid, not a cichlid farm, a fish farm down in Florida. Be contacting them for maybe some, some, uh, some fish, especially try to help out my fish room. Not my fish room, my local fish store. <coughs> this is Reef to Rift, a local fish store that donated quite a bit. Just telling us about their store. It's a fantastic store. If you haven't been there, you certainly should go take a look if you're local. Reef to Rift. I uh, hope to be doing a fish store tour there soon. Been talking to them about it. This is a Pleco Cave guy. Uh, I came over to talk to him at least twice. He seemed very standoffish and rude, quite frankly. And uh, I probably won't buy from him, even though he's got some nice stuff here because of it. Also, I have a friend who uh, was walking with a cane and he basically just handed him a box of Pleco Caves, didn't wrap anything, didn't do anything, didn't help him, so yeah. All right, this was a fantastic uh, idea for kids. It was a kid's tank building contest. They supplied the tank and all the supplies and all the fish. And this is the best one, of course. Oh, this is Lucas's right here. Oh, I'm guessing that's my bag of stuff. <clears throat> that's what Lucas designed. And uh, he picked the Serpy Tetras for the tank, so that's going to go in his room. I don't know if I have to move out the 55 that's in his room now, or uh, I'm just going to add this one. So Some other cute tanks here. The kids did a great job. That's really nice. Well thought out. And over here we have the cobalt table. They're not selling anything. They're just here talking about information. Not really sure why if Lisa and Martin are here, but <clears throat> Here's another fish store river to reef Not really a fish store, but sort of a business uh, Angels homegrown angels. These are fantastic. I had some koi angels from her uh, They are they were stunning. She does a nice job I've seen the filter in there. I think that's the filter from Swiss Tropicals uh, with the funky lift tube. And some bed is in here. And there's J&J &J Aquatics with a customer. I'm not going to really film, but there you go. All right, guys. That is a tour of the vendor room. And uh, that's about it for today, guys. Oh, 